welcome to southern utah everybody as you can see we got a trailer that's done I had to abandon filming it all, the build. It just got too cold, too snowy, and ready to head to Arizona for the winter. So I had to just go as hard as I could to get everything done in time to get out of town. So but we'll take the time to show you everything we did and how it turned out. You can see I can haul my propane and my fuel up on the front of it now. Makes it pretty handy. It's got a lock bar through it and there's a strap that goes over the propane tanks and holds them in those uh, the milk crate in place so it'll keep the honest people honest. It won't keep a thief honest. They could still steal it if they wanted I guess but you're not going to stop that anyway. But yeah that lets me carry the two five gallon uh, propane tanks that we use for the little fireplace and then each of those VP jugs will hold 6.2 gallons so it gives me 24 gallons of fuel plus what's in the razor so that's pretty handy and if they're empty they can't blow out because the handle goes through or the bar goes through the jug I did the drive over fender so I could keep my overall width of the trailer narrow. It's only 84 inches outside, 80 inches inside. And it's a 14 foot deck. It's got enough room I can put a four seater on it. We eventually get one of those. And uh, of course this one goes right up against the wheel wells. I had to do extensions, I'll unload the razor and we'll show you those in a minute. And I'll have to do different anchor points for each machine. I just haven't had time to put all the machines on. We have the 50 inch that it'll just go between these wheel wells and strap down. And then once we get a four seater, I'll figure out what it's going to take to hold it in place. But yeah, these go right up against the wheel wells and then straps down on the front. I've got it set up so I can strap the back down, but I haven't worried about it yet, so. But. Then the tailgate, I did it only just a 36 inch tailgate, so I have less wind resistance, and I played with the 50 incher, make sure it could get up on it with our trailer height, and it works just fine, so. Should work for any machine we ever want to load on it. Still have good airflow, and I've got plenty of deck. I can haul another set of tires underneath the razor. Then I'll just tie the back one down. The razor will keep them from bouncing out up the front. There's no way for them to get out up there. And if I secure the back one in between these ties right here, then they can't go anywhere so lets me have a rock set and then my trail set that way for whatever machine we have so that pin system you stick a cotter key through that little bar made it quick and easy and it's not a very heavy tailgate so works good one fly I did find already when I loaded this at home in the snow I spin right here so I'm gonna have to put some of these traction bars like I did on my drive over fenders I'll put one across here so it can grab and then 
one across the back of the trailer right here. Give me a little traction for when it's super slick. This, when you're climbing this, you're coming up these ramps and going over the fenders at the same time. So it's a pretty good obstacle. And like when I loaded it, we had about eight inches of fresh snow, so it was slick. But it keeps it on there and in line, so worked out good. All right, now you can see it a little better. These traction bars, as you can tell, I thought they'd keep me from spinning, but you still spin on them. I spun one off. I didn't get the weld burn in very good on that one. But these inner bars, they just bolt through from the inner fenders. They just have nut zerts in hold them up against the side of the fender so they're quick to remove if I want and for a wider one it'll have plenty of grip I started out with these just two inches wide and decided that the four would be a lot better from just practice or playing with it before I finished it all so I went ahead and made those four inches wide I had the material there so why not it's worked out really well. All the wiring, like I showed you when I was building it, runs through here and then it goes, there's a hole. It lets it transfer between the joints. And I've got one solid piece of wire. I use the seven gauge or seven wire uh insulate it's just like an uh extension cord it's got the rubber coating the paper and all that so it's real well protected and that runs to the full length of the trailer without being interrupted except for the brake system i interrupted it right there and then just used uh heat shrink so i by law, Idaho, I don't have, it's a light enough trailer, I don't have to have brake system on it. And I went ahead and did it anyway, just because I don't know what laws and what states, so. And we plan on being able to travel all over, so getting different videos for you guys. But yeah, I use the gray plastic conduit it's all anchored to the bottom of the trailer all the way the full length clear back to here and comes into my bumper so it's an all complete sealed system the snow and ice in the winter can't hang on or it doesn't hang directly on the wires it just hangs on the conduit which is all anchored into the frame so it, won't, it can take the weight it doesn't pull on the wires and and I use the seal beam lights clear around it all so they've been my favorite light I've used so far they're all the LED the new style so they work great but turned out pretty well I'm pretty happy with everything it's got seven pound seven thousand pounds of axles under it when I'm fully loaded I'm about three thousand the trailer came out at 1570 pounds and then by the time I put my propane my spare fuel and the razor and all our junk on I'm just about 3,000 pounds so I've still got 4,000 extra pounds of axle plus I'm on 10 ply tires so I want to do that just keep the bearing heat down I know I'm way more than I ever need but Never know too, I could haul a off-road vehicle, you know, like a rock crawl, full-on rock crawler or a small Jeep, whatever. Anything that'll fit on there, it'll haul, no problem. So I don't have to worry about overloading it at all. And I haul a lot of building materials on them when I'm working during the week too, so. It's got plenty of strength for that. 
I ended up going with the wood deck for now. Just couldn't get the aluminum in time. I will probably put a, at least a diamond plate uh, deck on it. But that's easy to change. For now, it's the half inch, well, 9 sixteenths uh, marine grade plywood. So it'll hold up well. The paint isn't holding to it. It just was too cold finishing this all up trying to get out of town. So. And I've got a couple changes, like I was saying. I'm going to put some traction bars on it. And the paint on it right now is just spray bombed, spray can. So I'll this summer when it warms up, I'll go through and paint it for real so it'll hold up. So it hasn't had hardly any time at all, and it's already got rust starting to show. So I'll just take the wire brush to it, clean it up, sand it a little bit, and make a few changes that we want and then we'll put a real paint job on it and it'll look good well thanks for watching remember to always give thanks to for all the blessings in your life every day bye bye visit our website you'll find information on trails in various areas and states in addition to our line of apparel if you haven't already had the chance to do so, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.